Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at offsetting columns. So if we have a look at what we've got so far, there's a total of 12 grid spaces and this is two, this is two, this is two and then there's six left over. But maybe we want, let's say, a bit of a gap between these two. Maybe we want a space of, you know, you know, a grid space of one gap. And we can do that really simply. So maybe we want to move this across. So the one you want to move, so if you want a space between you know a space between this one and this one you apply it to the one on the right because that's what you're moving and anything else is moved accordingly because it is relative to what comes before it and you can apply it to the first one second one third one last one doesn't really matter okay so you just put offset then you put dash then the breakpoint name again if you're doing targeting for extra small which will trickle up unless you know overridden then you don't put extra small or anything if it's for small you put sm md for medium large i mean lg for large xl for extra, extra large i mean extra large and xxl for extra, extra large so and then you would put dash and then the amount of grid spaces that you want to you know move it across so i'm just going to put it like this let's say one for now between one and twelve and there you go it's moved it along roughly half of the width of one of these and it'd be exactly if i put two it's got a whole width of one of them and you can apply to as many as you want so i could apply it let's say maybe if i apply it to this one put one here and maybe i'll apply something like that as well there you go so this has moved over a bit and then these have moved over a fair bit so that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and that is how you offset columns really great for you know reorganizing your content look forward to seeing you in the next video